percent of the muscles in your body are below the knee, yet they get very, very little work. So one of the most important things we're going to do is start to get blood flow and movement and strengthening to the calf, tibialis, feet, and ankles every single day. So this is a little calf raise complex you're going to go through. It's going to be consistent as part of your routine, and there's three types. So we're going to go with the FHL, so the flexor hallux longus, the lucius, where you're going to walk as far away as possible. So all your toes are engaged with the ground, you want to raise up and come back down. Raise up, press the toes into the ground, come back down. Raise up, press back down. So notice the further away you get, the more you have to push with those. And now if you're wearing shoes, it's ideal to take your shoes off so you get a little bit more movement and engagement through the, uh, through the toes, but you can get away with still having them on. Next is going to be a knee over toe calf raise. And so while that one works for the toes, this is going to work a little bit more of the Achilles and Sultus, the lower portion of the calf. You're going to start here, lean into the wall with your knuckles on there and bend the knees as far forward as you can. So just so the heels come off the ground, you're gonna keep the heels lifted, the knees bent, and you're going to extend and then come back down. Extend and come back down. So notice, it's gonna feel a little bit weird, but you're really keeping that knee bent and just driving through there. Once those get easy, you're gonna go here, you can bend the knee, load one foot, and start to load that with single leg, okay? So, going there, 10 to each side, the goal is to be able to do 20 of the FHL calf raises and then either 20 of the double leg or 10 single leg, and then we're gonna to go to a single leg from a deficit. So this is a traditional calf raise. Again, working more the gas shock upper calf. Grab up and then down. Up and then down. Now notice, I'm holding onto a wall. You don't have to, you could be a superhero and come out and do this, but again, you don't necessarily want, let's say, tangential aspect of this to take away from the movement you're doing. So if this helps you focus on developing strength here, then go for it and do that. You don't have to be like, everything in balance. And again, obviously, you don't have to do the deficit. You can go from the ground and start here, but these regular ones, either 20 together or 10 single. Okay, so those three FHL is always 20, always together. The knee over toe is 20 together or 10 single. And then the regular either deficit or floor or calf raise is 20 together or 10 single, right? That's our calf raise complex.